What's up, everyone? P. Pardo here from Sea of Tranquility. Welcome to another episode of uh, Look at My CD Collection, as you can see. So uh, this will be episode number three. So basically, we're going to take a look at another kind of column of shelves. Uh, I believe we're going to start up at J. I think we finished with part of J last time, and we're going to continue down uh, J through... Um, geez, what are, we, what are we finishing up with here? We're going to go all the way to P. All right. So uh, bear with me here, and I do want to remember. I do want to remind everybody because we get all sorts of people commenting on the last video. It's like, well, Pete, you went through uh, D and F, and you didn't mention any of these bands. And I'm like, guys, not everything is up here. I have plenty of other stuff that fall that's alpha that falls into these letters of the alphabet that just aren't here uh, because, of course, these shelves were built back in 2009. And uh, I've accumulated a lot of stuff since then, so not everything fits here. So uh, they have stuff in other places, which we'll get to. So if you haven't seen some bands on the shelf here uh, in a certain letter of the alphabet, and you, you're pretty sure that I have stuff, but you're wondering why I haven't shown it, well, that's why. So, all right, so let's uh, turn this bad boy around, and uh, let's get on the ladder. And I will try not to be as herky-jerky as last time. It's not that easy to, to do this here, but we'll do the best we can. All right, so... As uh, as you saw with some of the other shelves, right, when you have this lots of space on top, it's where I kind of like shove stuff that don't necessarily belong there. So here you see we've got uh, R and Q also up top. We also have R and Q, R over on the side on the next uh, column, so to speak, but uh, these didn't fit, so they're up here. So we got all the Redemption CDs. Of course, if you're not familiar with Redemption, you should be. That's the great uh, prog metal band formerly fronted by Ray Alder from uh, Fate's Warning. Now Tom England from Evergrey is also a member of Redemption. There you go. Got all my Queensryche stuff, including the great brand new one, right? Actually, no, that's a self-titled one. The, the, uh, the covers are kind of similar. That's, uh, that is the self-titled Queensryche from, oh, geez, nine, ten years ago. All right, plus we got uh, all the classic ones. I don't have most of the crappy ones, though. Sorry, guys. Um, we got all the uh, Todd Rundgren. All right. A Wizard, A True Star. I have a good chunk of the Todd Rundgren solo albums. There's, I'm probably missing some of the more recent ones, but I do have, you know, a few from the 90s and the early 2000s, but I don't have, I don't have everything. It's got a lot. All right, so that's what's kind of up there. And then uh, we start, we continue back with Jay. All right, so we got, I have a few Jay Giles band. Not a lot. I got the live albums and a couple studio albums. I got all the Yorn, okay. So, of course, that's uh, Yorn Landy, great Norwegian vocalist, hard rock heavy metal vocalist. Okay, I got, uh, obviously, all the Journey stuff going all the way back to... Great first one. Got a lot of a lot of glare today. Sorry about that. All right. Um, yeah, all, all sorts of all sorts of journey. And then of course, oh, I just gave it away. We got Judas Priest, right? So there we have the Priest catalog. The only ones I do not own are the Ripper albums on disc. I uh, just never bought those. And I've heard them many times. I'm not overly nuts about them, so I just never bothered to get them. I know I'm I'm a I'm pretty much a completist about most bands that I love for whatever reason. When it comes to Priest and Maiden, uh, I no longer own the Blaze Bailey albums on disc, and I don't own the the Ripper albums. I just I don't know. For me, it just uh, I never felt the need to get them. Well, geez, I even have multiple copies of certain things here. I got Defenders of the Faith. This is the. Uh, Anniversary 30th edition. All right, can we get that out of here? Well, that's going to prove difficult. Well, let's pull the other uh, remaster out, and then there is the deluxe. Again, do I really need both? I don't know. Probably, probably need to uh, consider ditching one of those. Right. All right. So. Let's go down here. Uh, yes, we've come across King Crimson. I will, I will say uh, my King Crimson stuff is bursting at the seams, and uh, I'm going to have to do something about that. So we've got 
in the front, uh, I've got all sorts of live King Crimson stuff that I bought last year and the year before. Okay, you can see some really cool things, you know, 1974, live in Toronto, Newcastle, 1972, Ladies of the Road. All right, you've got uh, this cool set right here, which is uh, Audio Diary 2014 to 2018. This is a cool little box set. All sorts of cool stuff there. All right, we will, uh, so we can see everything, let's move this stuff up one. All right, what do we got first? So we got um, Camelot. Great uh, symphonic power metal band. Well, it's, I believe I have the whole Camelot collection, or I may be missing one or two, but I think I got all of them. Got some Janis Joplin up there, Big Brother and the Holding Company, Live at Woodstock, Pearl. Some live stuff, like I said. It's mostly Janus up there. Oh, got some Kansas, because as you can tell, Kansas is coming up. There we go. Got the entire Kansas collection. This is pretty interesting. This is uh, the original Sessions of Vinyl Confessions, but when Steve Walsh was still in the band, he left uh, right at, kind of like at the beginning of those sessions. So there you have some of those early versions of the songs from Vinyl Confessions uh, sung by Steve Walsh. That's pretty cool. And you can ask me, where'd you get that? Uh, I don't know, a buddy made that for me a while ago. I'm not quite, quite sure. It's probably a boot. Um, what else we got here? Like I said, lots of Kansas stuff. And then, of course, we have the uh, King Crimson remasters and remixes. Stephen Wilson and Jocko Jaksik. I got a good chunk of those, if not all of them. I think I have them all up into Discipline. All right, but I got versions of all the others i have tons more like live stuff which we will see in a second so let's uh, we will move down down a shelf and down a rung on the ladder to continue with uh, king crimson as you can see we've also got a bunch of kiss stuff here all right so kiss love there's more king crimson 1971 live in central park 1971 uh, there's more King Crimson. All right. The collectible King Crimson. Lots of live. I got so much live King Crimson stuff, as you can see. Probably have way more live albums than I actually do um, studio stuff. So we got up top, we got uh, Alvin Lee. Ten year, of 10 years after, of course, this is a lot of the Alvin Lee solo stuff. Okay. See any of those? Let's pull one out here. It's a good album. Let it rock. If you haven't heard it, good stuff. Some of these are hit or miss, but I love Alvin Lee, so I think I have all of them. James Labrie solo. I get some of that stuff up there. Uh, let's continue on with the King Crimson. Absent Lovers, terrific. Live in Toronto. Richie Kotzen, 50 for 50, 50 songs. Okay, and we got all the Kinks stuff. I believe I have every Kinks album up till word of mouth. I think I'm missing like what, two more? Something like that. So I got all the early ones, all the 70s stuff, early 80s as well. Here we got more King Crimson, Great Deceiver. And again, just to show you how ridiculous I am. So I have also the Great Deceiver box set, the original box set. But uh, for whatever reason, I saw the cool packaging on the reissue, which, you know, no box needed, just two two disc sets with cool liner notes and stuff. And I bought those as well. Did I need to? Not really. There's the Night Watch. Okay. More live stuff. Heavy construction. And then we got all the Kiss stuff. All right. We got every Kiss album. Even the crappy ones, we got them all. And then I got uh, Kossoff, Backstreet Crawler, Kossoff, Kirk, and company. Oh, there we got more Kiss, right? I told you I have all the Kiss stuff, so there's Lick It Up, Asylum, Out the Shade, got some live Skinner to Nebworth. Get the knack, why not? First album's classic. More Kiss, Psycho Circus, Luke Cather. 
more kiss revenge crazy nights kiss off the soundboard oh led zeppelin boot fillmore west great stuff all right let me uh let me move down a little bit it's going to want to fall right let's just move those over here because of course we're at l right so we've got uh leaf hound for those of you who have never heard this album growers of mushroom you need to one of the great heavy rock albums of the early 70s finals going for tons of money this is a pretty rare i'm sure long out of print repertoire release of the uh on cd of the album very cool influential but kind of obscure band all right it's not wanting to go back in come on there we go all right and then of course we got all the led zeppelin stuff various remasters or reissues and things like that got up top we got some little feet looking glass because of course you know how much i love brandy we got some more zeppelin lucifer's friend you'll see all the lucifer's friend stuff legs diamond all right we slide over we got uh, liquid tension experiment we got uh, most if not all of the little feet catalog i think i got may only be missing like one or two but i think i got most of them there uh, i mentioned uh lucifer's friend we got all the lucifer's friend albums and then of course we get started on uh leonard skinnard and i got the whole skinnard catalog as well might be missing a live album or two but i got pretty much everything else all right let's get it back down a run oh more liquid tension experiment that's right that's the brand new one magnum marauder in fact all my magnums are right here i have the whole catalog i might be missing one maybe two i'm not quite sure got magic pie up top if you're not familiar with magic pie great great norwegian prog band there's the new magnum there's some magic pie more magic pie up there may blitz very cool uk heavy rock and blues band from the early 70s got some kim mitchell solo stuff all right a whole bunch of kim mitchell solo albums after magnum we've got uh ingve malmstein pretty much have all the ingve albums up until like maybe his last two or three i've gotten to the point with ingve i don't think i need to buy any more of his stuff because i, I just really don't want him singing I, i'm not big on his music with him singing anyway uh king's x all right we got uh, the original album series and uh pretty much have all the other ones there around here uh let's see more ingve out front and then we got uh, manford man's earth band pretty much have all of those and then we got manila road the great uh u.s heavy metal bands let's see if i can grab one out of here yeah, maybe i'll grab one from down below let's do that we got more manila roads down below all right i can get off my ladder now i don't think we need this anymore so got all sorts of manila road stuff here i think i have the entire catalog there we go gates of fire playgrounds of the damned great u.s metal band got uh the band from wales man uh got the i don't even know if i have the whole catalog i know i got a good chunk of them original album series all right that's with those albums i got the expanded edition of back into the future i really need to dive back into these because i bought a whole bunch of these a couple of years back and you know they i kind of liked them but they didn't really grab me 100 percent. so i just kind of like gave up and move on to other stuff but i think because uh, obviously i know a lot of people have asked for a man album ranking and again i don't have them all but uh, i have to see what i'm missing but uh, there's some more the live stuff is really good uh then we got a uh, great australian band the master's apprentices oh so good more man stuff you got the welsh connection uh you got uh, manassas stephen stills's band i put it under m for manassas it's technically stephen stills manassas but i put him in m anyway uh, and then after Manila Road, we've got all the Marillion stuff. So I've got like a ton of Marillion. You know, I got like all this cool like B-sides themselves, which is 
pretty damn great. It's got Grendel on it. We've got the great uh, Reel to Reel early live album. We've got Script and Fugazi. These are all the original, these here, these are the original CD issues of these. As you can see, there's the old Capital EMIs, got Fugazi. Uh, then I have some, you know, a bunch of the remasters of uh, Script and Clutching and got the Thieving Magpie and then, you know, all the ladder stuff. There's a couple I don't have because there's a few Marillions from the late 90s I just do not like at all. So I don't have those, but I got all the others. Um, then we got, uh, and here's this cool box set, Early Stages. A lot of bootleg stuff from 82 to 87 featuring Fish, Mr. Fish. Uh, then we've got uh, Frank Marino, Mahogany Rush. Okay. Love my Frank Marino albums, man. Guys, just amazing. All sorts of stuff. It's juggernaut. It's a juggernaut. Gotta have this crazy live album. You've never heard this. Man, real live. Incredible. Guitar solo, Orama. Got a couple Bob Marley collections, right? Most people are like, oh my God, Pete's got some reggae. Well, this is about it, guys. That's about it. That's good stuff there, though. Uh, Steve Marriott. His first solo album. Uh, and then you got the Marshall Tucker Band. Okay. Got pretty much most of the Marshall Tucker Band stuff, which continues down below. As you can see, a lot of Marshall Tucker stuff. All right, in the front we got uh, Meatloaf, album classics, more Meatloaf, more Meatloaf, more Meatloaf, Bad Out of Hell Everywhere, some Metal Church, you're going to see more of that in a second, so let's drop Meatloaf down. So here we've got, uh, let's see up above, we got the MC5, of course, you know, really, this is the only one I ever listened to, I got the others, but this is what, what it's all about. A uh, very cool band called uh, Message. What else is up here? Oh, here we got some Metal Church. Really cool 70s heavy doomy prog band. Got a couple of those. Uh, then all sorts of Metal Church, as you'll see. They're all up in there. Don't have every one of them. Missing a couple from the 90s, but otherwise got, got a good chunk of them. I uh, love Metal Church. And then we continue on. We got some Dave Mason. Dave Mason solo. Um, on, let it flow. Certified live. Cool stuff on these Dave Mason albums. A little laid back at times, but pretty cool. Mastodon, of course. Big fan of Mastodon. One of the great metal bands of today. Quite proggy. And then we got Max Webster. Got all the Max Webster stuff, kind of this cool little box set here. Little digi packs of all this stuff. As well as the Kim Mitchell EP. And then we got Megadeth. Got pretty much all the Megadeths, I believe. Might be missing one or two. All right, so let's move. Let's move the loaf back up top. All right. Next up, uh, we've arrived at uh, more M. Merciful Fate. Yeah. Merciful Fate, Metallica, Molly Hatchet. We got Neil Morse up top as well. A lot of Neil Morse solo. Of course, Neil Morse, a keyboard player and vocalist, formerly of Spock's Beard. It's also in the Neil Morse band, Neil Morse solo, Transatlantic, right? So, but then we've got uh, lots of Merciful Fate stuff. Got the classics, got the more, you know, recent stuff. Got the old in the beginning stuff. And of course, all the Metallica. The only Metallicas I don't have, I don't have the Load albums. I don't have, um, God, it's so crappy. I've kind of wiped it out of my mind. The one that uh, came before Death Magnetic. So shitty, I've, I've just wiped it from my brain. Uh, we got some Steve Miller Band. We got some Molly Hatchet. I think I pretty much have the entire Molly Hatchet collection. Including the uh, you know the latter period stuff, which quite frankly I think is pretty damn good. All right. Got uh, Ronnie Montrose. There's more Neil Moore stuff out front. All right, Ronnie Montrose got the original album series, all the original Montrose albums. 
speed of sound, bearings got all the moody blues up until a point. I think the last long distance Voyager is the last one I have. I mean, all those early ones are just absolutely great. Uh, we got Gary Moore. You can, now that skid row you see there, that's the original Irish skid row featuring Gary Moore on guitar when he was just a a uh, teenager. Let's see if we can get that out of there. All right, let's, let's pull this out. Ooh, very cool. Red Motor Scooter Live. So here's the uh, the two early Skid Row albums featuring Gary Moore. And then if you, ne if you haven't heard it, uh, this is also pretty good. The Gary Moore Band, the Grinding Stone. This is also really early. Another repertoire records thing. Very cool early Gary Moore back on the streets. Right. All sorts of cool stuff. All right, now the rest of the Gary Moore. As you can see, Victims of the Future, Live at the Marquee, Quarters of Powers on the Other Shelf, Dirty Fingers, Rockin' Every Night, lots of all the live stuff. I got it all run for cover. Still got the blues, got most, if not all, the blues stuff and lots of live stuff. There's, there's more up top there. Oh, is that more Gary Moore? More Skid Row stuff? What is this? I guess so. All right. Huh, didn't even know I had that. Uh, Mogway, chocolate box. Got some Mama's Pride, Mother's Finest. Got uh, got a bunch of the stuff from the Move, which you'll see down below in a second. There's Message from the Country. A great, great Swedish band called November. One of the great early heavy blues rock bands. They're kind of like the Swedish version of Cream, but probably heavier. If you haven't heard any of these November albums, I highly recommend them. Uh, lots of Motorhead, which we'll get to in a second. Let's go back to Steve Morse Band. So I got all the Steve Morse Band solo stuff. As you can see, my favorite is this one right here. Coast to Coast. Killer. Right. Motorhead. Pretty much have most of the Motorhead. Might be missing one or two, but pretty sure I got almost all of them. Leslie West and Mountain. All right. I've got the Leslie West. Uh, I put the mountain there, but I, I have some of the Leslie West solo stuff in there in a different spot. So under W, that mountain, this one should be there as well. But, you know, to me, that's unofficially the first mountain album. Got some cool live stuff and all the studio things. And uh, let's go down here. All right, there continues the mountain. There's all the move stuff. Great Shazam album. Got some John Norum solo. Got the Aldo Nova's first CD. Here's some Night Demon, very cool. Uh, U.S. heavy metal band, current heavy metal band, Mr. Big up top, Nectar. So we got the Moxie stuff, right? Great Canadian hard rock band from the 70s. Love that stuff. It's got a few Mr. Bigs. Actually, I don't. it's funny. With Mr. Big, I used to have all of their original stuff on either cassette or LP, and I never replaced them on CD. So most of the Mr. Big stuff I have is the more recent things. A uh, cool band called Nantucket, right? Kind of like Southern rock band. I've been there for one of the Carolinas. Very cool band, cool album covers, pretty good stuff. Kind of a mix of like Southern Rock and more like kind of AOR type things. Pretty good albums. Uh, we, then we got all the Nazareth stuff. I have everything from Nazareth except I think the last, their most recent release. Um, tons of Nazareth stuff. Looks like most of that shelf is Nazareth. And we got uh, the Naz, of course the first kind of big band that Todd Rundgren was in. Uh, and then all my Nectar stuff. All right, got all the studio albums, a lot of live stuff from Nectar, as you'll see. So there's much, much more Nectar. And Nightwish up top. So all the Nightwishes up there. Nevermore, featuring the late great Worldane, killer band. Uh, New England, Night Ranger, got pretty much most of the Night Rangers, might be missing like one or two, uh, got all the Ted Nugent stuff, oh, Uncle Ted's up above as well, he's kind of spilling out all over the place, Nitzinger, this is a very cool band from Texas, kind of like a heavy blues rock band, uh, I gotta forget what year, this is from the 70s, that's a cool album. Like I said, the Nightwish stuff. 
Then we go down below. Got the new Ozzy. Got those early Pantera ones. Thank you, Nick. Um, and then, uh, let's see, we got Opeth. Got all the Opeth stuff. All the early death metal stuff. As well as the more recent Prog and Hard Rock stuff. Live stuff. The roundhouse tapes. That's top shelf stuff right there. Uh, Orangutan, The Outlaws. Orange Wedge, Pain of Salvation. Ace Ashton Lord, Joe Perry Project, Pantera, Pain of Salvation, The Outlaws, Dogs, what's up Nuke, <laughs> uh, got all the Outlaws stuff, everything from the Outlaws, Ozzy Solo, I don't have all the Ozzy solo stuff. I have the stuff that I kind of dig because I think Ozzy's, Ozzy's got a lot of really weak solo albums from like the 90s and the 2000s. So I have a few. Um, let's, let's, let's put that back up here. And then last but not least, we'll go to the bottom shelf. we got some Point Blank. Great Texas Southern rock band. There's some more Point Blank over here. Got the most recent Alan Parsons, Pink Floyd, Fillmore West, and then of course we got uh, all the Alan Parsons Project stuff, Henry Paul Band, all the Pink Floyd albums, they're all there. The Police, Primal Fear, and all my Procol Harems. All right, a lot of cool repertoire reissues there. Then up top, we got uh, Robert Plant solo, Piranha, more Primal Fear, more Pink Floyd. All my Pentagram is down here. All great, great Pentagram stuff. God, I love Pentagram. These albums are so good. If you love classic Doom, killer stuff. And uh, I think that's it. Lots of Pentagram. Gospel According to Zeus, The Power of Zeus, another great band, more Pentagram. So yeah, lots of, lots of cool stuff here um, on this particular column on my shelves. And uh, hopefully you guys saw some interesting things here. If you have any questions about any of these releases, um, just put them in the comments below. And uh, be sure to answer them for you. Thanks for watching, everybody. As the dogs go in and out. Thanks for watching, everybody. I have part three of a look at the uh, my CD shelves. So uh, next week, we'll see part four as we start with, uh, I guess, R and we move our way down. So uh, we'll see you then. Thanks for watching. IMP Pardo. Please subscribe if you haven't already and click on that notification bell so you get alert of all of our content as it posts. And uh, please do hit the like button before you leave. And uh, thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you soon here with more stuff. IMP Pardo. Bye-bye.